Hi, it's Michael here and I'm just going to show you how to insert and embed an image in your Gmail message and hyperlink a URL to that image. So when you have your Composer window open, make sure that you expand it and therefore you get a full screen version of it so that you can see what you're doing rather than have the, the small window bottom right. Just make it nice and large like this one. Then once you've typed in the email that you're going to send it to and the, and the subject text, then put your cursor in the body of the email. And then now we're going to insert the image. We're not going to use the paperclip to attach the image because it will not embed in the body of the image of the message. Instead, we're going to click insert photo that will then allow us to either upload it from our computer or if we've got it sitting on the desktop, we can just drag the image here and it will automatically upload. So this is the image that has never been uploaded. So I can click on it and it will show me by the corners how big it is. It automatically defaults to best fit, but you've got the option to make it smaller, which obviously this is very small or make it the original size. For the purpose of this, so you can see what I'm doing, I'm going to make it best fit because you can now see that my cursor is flashing to the right hand side of the image. This will allow me to then highlight the image with my mouse. So I'm just going to drag my mouse from the right across the image so that it's highlighted in blue. Then I'm going to go to the insert link button at the very bottom of the message composer. And we're going to click that to then add the URL. Now, as I click that, you can see this go to link change remove came up and it's automatically put in a forward slash in the location. Of course, but that is incorrect. We're going to want to add the proper URL. And in this case, we're going to add a URL for YouTube. Make sure that you delete that forward slash. So we're going to backspace and then put the URL in there. We don't need that text to display, so you can delete that. It actually will remove it automatically, but just in case, just remove it. And then just make sure you have got the correct URL and then click OK. And then actually a little box comes up again underneath the image that shows you the URL which will allow you to change it or remove it. And that's all there's to it. And that image now, if you click on it, will show you the hyperlink. So then you know that there is a link actually attached to that image. And by the way, you can also increase the image slightly by just dragging the corners um, rather than just getting Google to decide how big it should be or not rather. <laughs> so you can you can decide to do that. And now if you then go to the end with your cursor off the image, just hit backspace, you can now continue to um, type your text that you want for your client, your, your contact to read. Or of course you can put the text above it, in which case you need to go to the to the left of it. So you can see my cursor just to the left and just backspace. Oh, sorry, hit return. And then now you can type your text at the top. And of course, it might be better to write the text before you insert the image. Either way, you can do it and get the image in there. Hope that makes sense. If there are any questions, do let me know.